Yeah, beat your addiction, live free Ralph Freed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today's show Beat your addiction, live free Ralph Freed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today's show Stay positive, hope, and keep faith Stand strong against any odds that you face Put away the alcohol and the drugs Fill your time with the things you love Addiction is tough, but it's worth the work Treat your body what it's worth Spread positivity, inspire all If we stand together, we will never fall I help others see the other sides of life A soul of life, letting go of the strife So give me a call, I can help 1-844-405 Help Homeless shelters, hospitals, jails, wherever you are I am Ralph Friedrichs and I am here for you 1-844-405 Help Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. Folks, today's Sunday. It's a beautiful day outside. Are you going to spend some time with your family? Possibly praise God today, as I will. Why should Sundays be a day of rest? The fourth commandment teaches us to set aside one day out of the seven days to rest from our work, to worship God, and spend time with our family as well. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath day to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work or your son or your daughter or your male servant or your female servant or your livestock or your sojourner who is written, uh, who is within your gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all is in them and rested it on the seventh day. Therefore, The Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. We, all of us, are hardwired for one special day every week. We were created to work, but we were also made to rest. It's interesting that even secular studies have embraced the idea that we need to take a break and relax regularly. We were made not only to rest, but also to worship. And what better day to do uh, the worshiping than on a Sunday? The very day of the week in which Jesus was raised from the dead, God gave us all permission to take a break once a week by modeling rest for himself. Take advantage of this day, today, Sunday, day of rest. At first, it appears that Jesus was the ultimate Sabbath breaker. The Jewish religion leaders were furious with him for continually healing people on Saturday, which was known to be the Jewish people as the Sabbath. Folks, but if we look a little closer, passages where Jesus performed acts of healing on the Sabbath day, we'll notice that far from being Sabbath breaker, Jesus was a Sabbath keeper. The religious leaders in Jesus' day misunderstood the true purpose of Sabbath, so they distorted it and added rules on how to keep it. Jesus exposed exposed the truth. If a man can be circumcised on the Sabbath in order to keep the law of Moses, certainly the healing of a man is acceptable according to the same law, John 7, 22-23. There is one significant difference between the Jewish Sabbath and the Christian Sabbath, or the Lord's Day, otherwise known. That is important to note in this show. The Jewish Sabbath mirrors the creation account in Genesis 1 and 2, where God worked for six days and rested on the seventh. Interestingly, though, the Lord's Day reverses this pattern entirely. According to the law, we are to work first, and then we were granted to rest. Jesus reversed this pattern for us when he uh, perfectly obeyed all of the Ten Commandments and kept the law on our behalf. By living the perfect life, Jesus has met God's perfect standard. According to the gospel, we are gifted with rest and then out of gratitude, we actually want to work. Now, we don't have to try to earn God's favor. He is already favorable towards us in his son. Because of Jesus uh, and his work, we start each week with rest, mirroring the eternal Sabbath rest that are already in our inheritance in the new creation in Hebrews 4, 9, and 10. Giving thanks to God, we return on our work week refreshed and our homes to others, and we provide hospitality to our neighbors. We also provide reading the word with our neighbors and praying with our neighbors and our family. 
On this special sacred day, the Lord blesses us in the ways we are not blessed any other day of the week. Utilize today, sad, uh, Sunday, uh, October 28th, to be with your family. Utilize it to praise God, to pray with God. Utilize it to provide your home as a sanction of hospitality to friends and neighbors. Be good to yourselves and be good to each other. A simple smile to a total stranger can change their life as well as yours. Remember, always bless God each and every day, but especially on Sundays, give it that extra turbo charge. May God bless you all, and thank you for listening to my Take Your Life Back uh, Today radio show. Feel free to call me at 844-405-HELP or, or email me at Take Your Life Back Today show at gmail.com, and remember to have a blessed day. The show is over, but your life starts today. Taking back your life's the only way. Keep faith, stay positive, push through. Take back your life, it starts with you. Alcohol and drugs can't control your life. Let go of the negative and the strife. Ralph Free Rick is the man guiding your way. The show is over, but your life starts today. Call Ralph Friedrich at 1-844-405-HELP. That's 1-844-405-HELP. We hope you love the show today and tune in next time. Take back your life today show with Ralph Friedrich. Yeah. May God bless you all. Enjoy your Sunday. And tomorrow's show, we'll be talking about how Mondays are very important to uh, fresh start your brand new work week. And I hope to God that you all have a perfect day today.